third floor, toys and women's lingerie. I've, I got here by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Not on purpose. Uh, still. All I can think of is the line from the Aerosmith song. Main floor, menswear, and snacks. This video is sponsored by Huber Engineered Woods, and I will explain the rest as we go along. Oh, we had a good time. We had such a good time. This is like the perfect size if Nikki and I built. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are on Grand Manan Island. In New Brunswick, is, Canada. New Brunswick, Canada. So this is Aaron Jones from Big Dog Construction. And we're gonna walk through a house that is, features quite a few things we don't normally see where we're at. We can dig into the details if you like. Um, for us, this is pretty standard building practice. This is R9 Zip on the exterior, water and air. And uh, we like ICF for our foundations. What is R9 Zip? R9 Zip, so we have a 7 16th Zip panel, the green panel that you see. And then we have an inch and a half of poly ISO behind that, which gives us the nominal R value of nine. Yeah, this is no? a framing channel. Yeah. So it's two framers talking about framing. Yeah. So we've got two 512 mono slopes. Actually, they're, they start at the same elevation. Just one's got a longer run than the other. Okay. Um, nice, easy walking. Um, the only thing that could have made it better if it was actually a little lower. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, 512 is a sweet spot for us. Now, I have something that I want to ask you and put you on the spot. Why did you install the zip the wrong way? Ah, so the real question is, is it wrong? So I could have installed it vertical. And if you actually pay attention, some of my panels are vertical because it doesn't really matter. Now, locally, our building inspector is I'll say more familiar with horizontal sheathing. That's diplomatic. And the bulk of our panels are horizontal. It is also technically what I'm used to. Uh, it's just what we do. Mm -hmm. And I found for this particular project, I was gonna have a little less waste if I went horizontal. Uh, if I was able to get like 14 foot sheets, right. I would have went vertical. That yeah. would have been a different story. Well, that, that's kind of the, the right answer. It depends on the job what makes the most sense for that job, but it doesn't matter which direction we go as long as the panel edges are blocked. After Perfect. that, we're just trying to manage waste. Yeah. yeah. In my opinion, the best thing you can do for a straight wall, crown your studs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the rest of it is kind of like, I want to take a closer look. So all we've used so far on the continuous insulation side is zip R6. So that's one inch with the 7 yeah. Same. And we're barely making our shear values. Uh, this last job, the engineer had us go three inch on center. I think I could talk him out of that next time. Does your engineer balk at all about the thickness of the panel? Because ours, it's once you get only an inch and a half nail past this, right? Yeah. Now our engineer was concerned that you essentially are cantilevering the panel off the nail. Yep. And this is our structural panel here. So he just had us add more nails. Yeah. We're not in a seismic area right here. Uh, there is a seismic area just a little bit that yeah. way, and there's a seismic on area. On the island? On the island. Oh, there's, interesting. There's, there's very quick backstory. Yeah. The island was formed by a volcanic rift. The biggest thing for us is to have an inch and a half penetration into the stud. For lightweight construction that we do here in the States, yep. well, or here in Canada, North America. North America. North America, yeah. We're neighbors, we can is do that. The thousands of connections allow that energy to dissipate. The beauty of light frame is it's lighter, which means it generates less force, and then we have thousands of connections that yeah. to dissipate that energy. Do the bulk of our panel edges are nailed three inches on center. Okay. What's the foundation? The foundation is ICF, it's new Dura. So we've got essentially four inches of foam outside, four inches of foam inside, and a six inch cavity. So it comes flat packed. Okay. So the benefit is instead of stacking blocks like this on a truck. Yes. It's flat, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the blocks are fully reversible. So it doesn't matter upside oh, okay. down, right side up. They. There's a little locking point here. Rebar just snaps in, so you don't have to tie the rebar in. So, this, so what's the R value of each layer? R they call it an R35 panel. And this is six inches? Six inch cavity. You can get it eight, 10, 12. Okay. Uh, for us, locally, six inch is more than enough. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Yep. Reversible. So even I couldn't mess it up. So then what's the waterproofing detail? 
you'll see a little bit. New Jura makes a, a waterproofing a waterproofing membrane. Is it like a peel and stick? It's a peel and stick okay. product, uh, asphaltic base, made by Tremco, works really well. We had to use the primer on this job. Uh, typically we don't have to use the primer, but we were literally in fog for mm. like three days straight. So the, there was constantly a condensa condensation on the, on the block. So we primed it, threw it on. And then we've got Delta MS as our protection board and essentially our blow grade rain screen. Okay. Uh, you know, any water does happen to get behind here for whatever reason, it's gonna drain down, get picked up at the footing by the drain tile. Okay. So how do you finish this here? An elastomeric rubberized paint. It's horizon coat, again made by Tremco. Okay. And uh, you just literally paint it on. Yeah. Sometimes we'll go along with uh, some caulking and we'll do up the seams just yeah. to make it appear nicer and keep it to two coats instead of having to do like two coats and a touch up or yeah. something like that. Are you using all galvanized nails for your exterior Every, sheathing? Everything. Okay. I was like, there's no staining. So no, I salt water is right there. Yeah. Right there. It doesn't make sense. If I could use stainless steel, I would, uh, hot dip galvanized and it has to be hot dip. Yeah. Anybody who tells you electro galvanized for salt water, yeah. nah, no, <laughs> it's not going to work. You will have staining immediately. And even with hot dips, sometimes, uh, depending on the quality of the fastener, mm -hmm. uh, the nailers will chip it off and you get staining. So as you can see- And you can tape right to the ICF. Because of the sun, you've got to rough up the block a little bit. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Just so so like we just hit it with a little bit of sandpaper. Okay. Uh, you can use a, a rasp on it. There's a hundred different ways. Uh, we're not quite done all our details. The seams actually do need to be cocked around this if you so want. all like this? Yeah. Uh, so the block is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. Mm -hmm. And in a driving rain, you could actually get, you know, something like this. You could get water come in and around your flashing tape. But our rain screen is gonna continue down. We're gonna run a, a 3 8 rain screen above, and we're just gonna make our rain screen plane out down below. So, so you snapped your mud sill so that just the zip, the 716 zip yeah. sticks past. Yeah. Like pretty much any other house. Pretty much every, every other house. We've done it where the zip sticks out the full two inches, but not on this wall. Because the, forms, the foam is four inches thick, if we tried to overhang uh, the zip two inches out beyond that, we'd be cantilevering yeah. our structure six inches over, and it just, yeah. it doesn't make sense. So, so four inch panel, but you're losing an inch and a half of that because of the foam. Yep. Okay, and it's all two by six, so you got plenty of bearing on the concrete. Plenty of bearing with two by six, and we've got a two by 10 sill. Okay. So it's like, there's zero issues in that regard. I have to say, we'll show this in B-roll. Whoever's doing the nailing, flush, nails, consistent spacing. It's not bad. There's a few rough spots, but it's not bad. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I forget what the APA allows us, like almost a 20%. Yeah. So if 80% of them are what they should be, we yeah. get the performance. Born in a barn? Yeah. <laughs> Not technically. I was born in a hospital. Well, it's cool. Going up? Yeah. Of course, I'm here on the job site. Of course I have to ride the lift. Well, this way you can tease Steve about being elevated. That was a, a very quick but eventful ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can continue up. Third floor, toys and women's lingerie. I've, I got here by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Not on purpose. Uh, still I get it. <laughs> okay, so we got the thickness of the panel here. Thickness of the panel. What is this for? So, because our air control layer switches to the interior at this point. So you're using zip for its air, air water. Okay. Right outside. And thermal, I guess. And thermal. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. See, air I learned. Thermal. I learned four. I learned three of the control layers. They're the three most important, I would argue. Okay. So. Because we have a vented assembly, which you can see our vented chutes here, yep. 
we have to transition our air control layer from outside to inside. So I sandwich the floppy bits between the plates. Okay. Oh, okay. I put them between the plates when we're framing. That way, when I set my truss, if the truss comes down hard, I got to kick it around. I don't have to rip this or tear this. So first top plate, this is coming up and over. Next top plate goes on. Now you can set trusses. You don't have to worry about goofing it up. Nope. You can actually see it very clearly over here uh, where the mezzanine or the loft is. First plate, my vest comes up, wraps up over the floor trusses into the inside underneath the plate. This will get taped down. We'll bring a, another panel up here right underneath the heel of our truss. Okay. So Water goes like up, air goes from here to the inside and we can pick up on the inside where that ties in. We will use a little bit of can foam just to seal off that gap. It just ensures any wind driven rain from out there never ends up in there. So then we can see the zip R9. Yep. And, and one thing I, we didn't talk about earlier, which is important to note, you blocked all panel edges, same edge nailing as the, as the four foot seams. Yep. That's going to be our shear wall. Everything, every panel edge on this build is three inches on center. I'm liking what I see here. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So Kelsey did the nailing. So Kelsey did all of these right here for sure. I think we got to plug Kelsey. This is, yeah, that's outstanding. So, most of the flashing tape on this project is done by Kelsey. I do not do it as neatly or as efficiently as she does. Yeah. Um, if I'm doing all the stretch tape, I guarantee you there's at least three feet going in the garbage yeah, yeah. because the frustration kicks in. And, I wonder if she's uh, willing to move to Washington. We'll just hire her to come out. Hey, you wanna go on vacation? We have a bunch of tape to do and can you do our nailing while you're, <laughs> while you're at it? All I can think of is the line from the Aerosmith song. Main floor, menswear, and snacks. Let's go back up now and get the B-roll. Okay. So, oh yeah, good call. I wonder, let me holler to Nikki. I want to get that camera and keep the B-roll on that one. It'll help me stay organized. Nikki? No. Do you, can we have your camera, please? Yeah, we're going to do B-roll up here. I'm yeah. filming right now, so you're on a roll, Nikki. Ah! She just she just falls down, <laughs> <laughs> like a <laughs> like a fainting goat. <laughs> you scare the goat. <laughs> the goat just falls. <laughs> I love those videos. Oh man, they make me laugh. Ooh, you're giving Zoolander a run for his money. <laughs> So if, if we were to take the zip tape off, you would see the same nailing pattern behind the tape. Don't do it. I'm going to do it. Myth busting. Yeah, look at that. You can see all the acrylic <coughs> adhesive still on the wall. Yeah, same. Nail. All right. And out of curiosity, did the inspector or the engineer review the nail pattern before it was taped? Um, so, as near as I can tell, the building inspector watches my Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I'm so that is that has been a lot of my inspection. Um, there's plenty of pictures, and there is a standing offer to stop by any time. And I suspect that when he does show up, we are going to have to remove a random piece of tape or two. Um, but I have no issue with that, and we can easily cut this off and join back up. Mm -hmm. So sharp knife, more seam tape, and we will be good. Nice. Okay, let's go inside. Cool. And we'll try to do maybe the inside a little bit quicker. I think some of it we touched on should be, be fine. Really? Oh, look at those awards. Oh. Good morning, Mr. Tyler. Going down. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Loving an elevator. 
I wasn't allowed to watch Bend MTV. Bend at the knees for a soft landing. I wasn't allowed to watch MTV as a kid. <laughs> that, was, that was very good. And thus begins the greatest road trip that we have taken in 2024. Steve Basic, Chris Cook, myself, Mark Willie, Ben Bogey, Nick from the tech team, and my wife got to go on a road trip up through Maine into Grand Manan Island, New Brunswick. And along the way, we did make it through customs. We did have a little bit of an issue. So in order to get from the mainland out to Grand Manan Island, you have to take a ferry. It's a car ferry. It's a pretty good sized ferry, especially compared to what we have here in Washington. I thought it would be a really good idea if I got some drone footage as the ferry left the dock. And I thought to myself, well, I'll let it get out a ways. I can catch up. Right about now, as you're watching, Timmy was starting to get just a little bit nervous. <laughs> so I had the approach lined up perfectly. This is real time, by the way, at this point. Look at that, I got plenty of room to land. I'm speeding it up. After multiple attempts, I finally turned off the sensors and Nick, he caught it right in the numbers. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that was the start to our trip to Grand Manan Island. The rest of this, I just want to show you some background and B-roll of the island and what it is that we were up there doing. We were filming for Huber Engineered Woods. We're going to be at International Builder Show in Las Vegas. I believe this year it's at the end of February. Anyway, we're going to be posting about that on social media. Grand Manan Island is absolutely beautiful. Aaron and Gina from Big Dog Construction and Kelsey. Thank you for the hospitality. Anyway, here is some behind the scenes as we went along and filmed and enjoyed beautiful sunset on the island. super easy to get into Canada. Like our border crossing guards just got guns like last year or something like that. It, it'll be fine. Hey, tell Aaron we're on our way as soon as we get some gas. Yeah, we got the sweet convertible rental. He was a little needy if you had. Is that him? That's him right now. I'm just... Should probably call Tim again. He's gonna go to voicemail. We don't need to rush break, up man. there. I mean, people had Thelma and Louise for years. Now they got Tim and Steve. We don't need to go anywhere. I think I get this thing running. Nice. Yeah, I'll try it. This is, uh, just give me a minute here to... Hold on a sec, Aaron's yeah. calling. Yeah, no, we're just taking the scenic no, route. got any gas. Steve, needs a lot of bathroom breaks. You'll come to the border crossing. It's like literally a post with a flag. I don't think this is right, Tim. And all Canadian islands look the same in the dark. Yeah. yeah. It's like this, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see a sign anywhere that no. said, welcome Tim and Steve. Not no, that, there would have been a, well, there would have, there would have been like yeah. a band or high school band or yeah, something. There, there should have been banners for it. So, um, I, I don't know. The wrong one. I think it's the wrong one. Right. I say we get back in the boat. Yeah. No, no. Follow my directions. Take the dirt road. Tim, hurry up, man. Get on before they figure out we got this thing. We're out of gas? I think we're out of gas, man. Let's just leave it. We'll just leave it. Yeah. Oh. So we'll just walk okay. the rest of the way. <laughs> what? They'll find it. Yeah, just leave it. We don't have to worry just about it. Just leave it. It's Canada. Just, uh, They're too nice to say anything. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think we got that far to go. Maybe 20, 30 miles or something like that. We're going to get there, Steve. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Tim, I, I think we got to be close, man. This is... Uh, Better be. I'm kind of losing steam. I mean, this is looking like some of the pictures that Aaron sent. So, I don't hey, know. There's a road. There's a road. It, it definitely looks like a we're close. construction road. Steve, to your right. There's the house, man. Yes. Yes, we made it. We made it. 2,600 miles we went. Yeah. I love you. I love you too, buddy. Uh, hey, there's Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, we made it. We made it. 
guys, we, finally made it. We made it, man. Who the? <laughs> we just. <laughs> I've never been, never been so happy I'm to gonna, see a Canadian I, in my entire life. I am gobsmacked. <sighs> Your gob has been smacked. I think I lost like 60 pounds. We haven't eaten in minutes. I have to make a phone call. There's a four wheeler in the road somewhere, somewhere. down. Uh, where did you get? It's, it's all the, I think it was a neighbor, yeah. a friend way down the Super road nice that Canadian let us borrow. Guy, yeah. yeah. Ooh, but there was somebody in uniform here earlier looking for somebody. Yeah. That wasn't us. It wasn't us. They, yeah. That okay. wasn't us. Definitely not us. That wasn't us. So let's go get you a steak and uh, we'll get you some lobster. All right. All right. Well, let's good. go. All right. Steak and lobster. What's even relevant? Well, that that's my thing is as the, I'm not skeptical of it. Yeah. But I just wonder, it, it begins to sound a little too self-important. You so, don't want to flex the, yeah. no. It's these framers yeah. that say they frame to a sixteenth of an inch. We try, okay. but the reality is, none of the materials and sex oh. Those are our goal. And I feel like you guys are, would be doing the equivalent of, of like furniture. Mm -hmm. Thousands of it. Right, yeah. The it's, precision that they are, explaining means the world is not there you know like the the science that they're going into first of all you i'm gonna reach right up keep going stop 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 all right you're Okay, who's uh, next? Can I move? Yeah, yeah you can move. Still not Lowry. Actually, farther away. Yeah. <laughs> They're moving us further away from. Yeah. Nick, yeah. Somebody's the got their compass backwards. Nick, the Look, we were supposed to go okay. south, yeah. westish. Now we're northeastish. Now you're even farther north, so it's a great time to talk about exterior insulation or thermal barriers. How you want to set it up? I would just say continuous hello, hello, insulation hello. or exterior insulation. Go ahead. Whatever this is Steve, Steve to Wayne. Steve to Wayne, come in, Wayne. Red Fox to Gray Squirrel, come in, Gray Squirrel. <laughs> First so I'm picking up. Yeah. yeah. Something. Mm. My phone is off. We, like we probably all have, no, yeah. Maybe my heartbeat. It's racing. I'm <laughs> Oh my god. No, it's electronic. Here, let you. I'm listening. You can hear it. Is it whatever's driving it? Why are there different thicknesses? Some continuous insulation is better than none. Yeah. Yeah. Money grab. You see the like hats to fix sticks? Walking the line. Walk in the line. You can stop now. Walk in the line. <laughs> we gotta say okay. Make sure you're talking. I like the standing performance. Uh, we got our first position somewhere. Because the myth there is all exterior continuous insulation is a good choice. And I would say on the surface, that probably sounds like a really good idea. The problem with it is that the more insulation that you put, or I'll give Carlos some call on my head up. That's totally fine. Can we try to call for that one? Are you in the same place? We're nearby, yeah. I think it's like the exact, I don't know if the number's the same, but it's the exact same. You all set, Wayne? Almost. Uh -huh. Almost. C three three two up. Thirty three twenty. Thirty three twenty. Okay, that's that. Can you hear me, Wayne? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. How about now? Are we good, Wayne? Scroll seven. Yeah, rolling. A B. B speed. Speed. B speed. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Greenlight. Yeah, you can start. I just start. Hi, I'm Aaron Jones. No, no, no. Start it like you. Hey, hey, I'm here. Thank you. Pull it, pull it. All right, all right, all right. So, 
A little bit closer. Let me start it. Not like Mark. More like you is what you're saying. Scoot over this way to a center, centered frame in this in this window. So that I look. Are we good? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Hey, I'm Aaron Jones, and I'm Steve Mazer. I don't think I've ever told you this before, Steve, but I always look up to you. Oh, you got jokes. I got jokes. I'll tell you what. Why don't you save them? Because I'm not going to hang out here for long. I'm headed out to Vegas. 2020. Jesus, hey, wait, how I was like, am I in 24 or am I in 25? How Sorry. Was yeah, don't scream. Be enthusiastic. Be enthusiastic. Be enthusiastic. Be enthusiastic. All right. So, hey, I'm Aaron Jones. All right. It's time for God. I'm mic'd up. And mic'd three. Up. Signed up and mic'd up. And three. Two. Hey, I'm Aaron Jones. And I'm Steve Basic. I don't think I've ever told you this before, Steve, but I always look up to you. Well, I always look down on you, so anyways, let's cut to the chase. I'm headed out to Vegas. I'm headed to Vegas. 2025 International Builder Show, booth C3320. Be there. Don't make me come look for you. In case you didn't know, that's the Huber Woods booth. Perfect. Good.